David with Liguori Drag Racing. And in this wiring video, I'm gonna be going over inputs. Input is anything that you want to directly put into the ECU, such as a sensor or a button. So a sensor can be anything from throttle position, engine temp, drive shaft sensor, gear position, upshift button, two-step button, nitrous activation, things like that. You have a, this is a FT550, an FT450 has seven inputs. FT550 has 14 inputs, and then FT600 has 20 inputs. These inputs can be selected in the default menu. There are a ton to choose from, and you can also make a custom measurement type. When selecting custom, you can customize the name, the dash name, and other settings. When using an input, it can be digital or analog. Digital means on or off, such as a two-step button or a drive shaft sensor. Analog is something that moves with voltage, such as a pressure sensor. Any input can be any um, sensor or button. You're not limited to a digital or analog input. When using pressure sensors or engine temperature sensors, Make sure you select the input sensor type, such as 0 to 150, 0 to 300, 0 to 500. You can also do custom, and you can change these values, such as if you have a 0 to 100 sensor. You can also change these voltage values. You can change the digital filter and what it filters in or filters out. Gear position sensor. If you're using a factory gear position sensor on an older style motorcycle, you can enable a pull up. I'll do a video on that later on gear position sensor specifically. On your buttons or switches, you can do a negative or positive signal. When changing to a positive signal, you must go to the setting, two-step rev limiter, and change two-step button activation mode. You can switch it to 12 volts. Go back to inputs and it switches to a positive signal. I always recommend using ground instead of 12 volts. If you need to change upshift the button, upshift the button will be in paddle shift under sensors and calibration. You can change upshift the button here, ground or 12 volts. I hope this overview goes over the inputs um, and gives you a description on how to use them. Like I said, any input can be any sensor or button. You are not limited to just digital or analog sensors. You can use all 14 inputs. It doesn't matter what you put on them, but you must put on the correct wire.
in order to read the correct sensor.